watching Fight Back, Coal India created history last November. It raised a whopping 15,000 crore rupees via an IPO. But over the months, we've been flooded with mails from investors who claimed they were unduly not allotted a single share. Even though market regulator SEBI has directed member brokers to resolve each investor's grievance, several investors say they are still waiting for compensation. But we stay devoted to our promise to highlight each retail investor's problem. And today, Bangalore-based Padmanabh Nayak joins our campaign to fight back for his rights. I am Padmanabh Nayak from Bangalore, a retired bank officer. My grievance is regarding short allotment in Coal India Limited public offer. In October 2010, when Coal India Limited floated their initial public offer, I applied for 400 equity shares and paid 98,000 rupees as application fee. My check got encashed on 25th October 2010. As per the allotment pattern, I should have been allotted 199 shares firm. But to my utter surprise and reasons unknown, I was allotted only 100 shares. That is 99 shares short than my entitlement. I then decided to approach fight back at Bloomberg UTV for getting this issue resolved. I sincerely thank Bloomberg UTV fight back for creating such a forum to get such issues resolved. Thank you. If you too find yourself in a similar situation, do join our campaign. You can call us on 022-4098-7444 or email us at fightback at utvmoney.com. Well, now Pinkesh Balajiwala joins us from Surat. He complains Cox and Kings has not refunded his money. Pinkesh, what is the problem that you faced? Actually, the, I had a case against Cox and Kings. Mm -hmm. uh, I done my travel booking uh, and uh, my flight booking with them. I had mm -hmm. paid an upfront amount of uh, lakh rupees. Uh, my visa got cancelled uh, uh, due, due to some reason and I was supposed to get my refund back. Okay. Uh, I was waiting for my refund for past uh, two months. I've mm -hmm. been waiting. Uh, I've been uh, calling up. I, I've been calling up them. I was waiting for a call. The only answer I got from them was, uh, "You'll get it. You'll get it." Mm -hmm. uh, it's only when uh, I wrote a mail to uh, UTV, a uh, fight back, and the day I wrote a mail, I got a call from the general manager, and I got my refund back. I've been I've been waiting for this for from past uh, two months. Well, we are glad, Pinkesh, that you have got your refund. We did, as you know, write to Cox and Kings. Here is what the company response was. In response to fight back, Cox and Kings said, and I quote, We have given the customer his refund, but he now needs it on his company's name. We have informed him that it would take up to seven working days from the time the cheque is returned to our Mumbai office. The matter is resolved and the passenger is happy. End of quote. Well, joining us from Mumbai is Sonali Singh. She has a complaint against a, a travel porter, Clear Trip. Sonali, what is the problem that you face? Yes, um, our case is that we are all working professionals and we have taken a weekend off to go on a short family holiday to London starting uh, April 14th earlier this year mm -hmm. up till 18th April. So that was just four days only. My brother was to reach London on the 14th of April before the rest of the family joining on the 16th. He had uh, made the hotel booking on the 12th of April for which he made the full and final payment over the Clear Trip website and he even received confirmation of the booking for the same. Mm -hmm. All was well until he landed in London and upon reaching the hotel to check in, he was told that there's no booking for him and the hotel had no information or mail from Clear Trip. Very concerned as to what had happened and especially worried since it was the peak season and the royal wedding was coming up, he mm -hmm. tried calling up Clear Trip customer care numbers from London. As it was the weekend, initially no one picked up. After continuously trying multiple times, someone did finally pick up and on learning that there was a goof up, very sheepishly said that they would check on it immediately and call back within two hours. Mm -hmm. It was already evening in London by this time and bookings in the hotel were fi filling up. So not okay. wanting to take any chance since the family was joining, my brother made a fresh booking and had to pay the hotel an excess charge because it was a last minute booking. 
So furthermore, he stayed on in the hotel lobby for two hours because Clear Trip said that they call back in two hours. No one ever called back. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I called the customer care number before going, and I was fortunate enough for one executive. I mean, at that point in time, the executive who picked up, he informed me instead of dilly darling, saying that you know your booking was never made. So as all the hotel rooms were full. Now I was completely flabbergasted because all this while, an entire day of my trying, nobody ever told me that, and mm -hmm. nobody even called back. So, um, so, so it was just good on our part that we, my brother, had done make the booking um, at the last minute. After much mailing and calling from both m my brother and me, requesting for a refund, my brother received a call on the third last day. Uh, you know, on the on one day before we were to re return back to India. Okay. A call at 6:46 a.m. London time. So the re the executive did not even bother to check what time in London it is. So we are woken up, woken up from our sleep, only to be told that the amount is being refunded to us and they also offered a lollipop in the form of rupees 5000 voucher to avail any service from clear trip but still nothing in terms of an apology and yeah. um, also you know um, the the, for, the mail you forwarded to them about my case and then the, their representatives reply saying that they will be uh, refunding us or paying back the excess uh, which we had to pay at the hotel for that particular night's stay they have not got back to us i mean uh, two weeks since has passed since i wrote to you and since their representative replied to you saying the same nobody has got back well, all I can say, Sonali, it's a sorry case. While you've been refunded as far as the uh, payments that you made for the trip, but the fact of the matter is, as a consumer, you have not had a good experience. It was a bad experience, a last-minute sort of change of uh, plans and what you had sort of uh, planned completely on. And therefore, I think it is very important for to hear from consumers like you the issues when it is so impossible to reach out to the uh, particular company whose service you have availed and when their the services are not up to the mark or not uh, coming by easily. Well, this is what ClearTrip said in response to your complaint. In response to fight back, ClearTrip said, and I quote, at ClearTrip, customer satisfaction and experience is of prime importance. While our website showed a confirmed hotel booking on our system, the hotel's back-end system did not register the booking. We reconcile bookings in our system and hotel systems every day to identify and correct booking discrepancies such as in Singh's case. However, since Singh's check-in was within 24 hours, we were unable to spot the error. To ensure this doesn't happen with anyone else in the future, we have instituted a process where all bookings within 24 hours are manually verified within a few minutes of booking. As is the process with such bookings, even prior to the matter being escalated here, a complete refund of the entire booking amount was already processed. The extra amount paid by her for the fresh hotel booking is also being refunded. We apologize for the inconvenience caused to the customer and her family. ClearTrip stays committed to the highest standards of transparency and integrity with respect to its customers and in everything we do. End of quote. Well, we pause for a quick break now. Catch us to redress all your insurance and bank related problems on the other side of this break. Stay tuned to Fight Back. If you have a grievance, you too can register your complaint. Just call us on 022 4098 7444. Or you can email us at fightback at utvmoney.com. You can follow us on Twitter at BUTV Fightback.